Hello friends, welcome to my channel DevOps Buzz with Kirtan. Today we will discuss what is uh, conflict and how to create PR from GitHub. So let's start with what is conflict in simple word. A conflict is a, uh, is a struggle between uh, people which may, may be physical or between conflicting ideas. The word comes from the Latin word con conflinger. Confringer means to come together for a battle. Okay, this is the uh, simple meaning of the conflict. Let's come to the conflict in Git. So conflicts generally arises when two people have changes, changes in the same line of a file or one developer deleted a file while another developer want to modify it. In this case, Git cannot automatically determine what is conflict. Git will mark this file as being conflicted and halt the merging process. So let's come to the uh, GitHub desktop. I always recommend, prefer, my recommendation is to use GitHub desktop while resolving the conflict. Do not do directly conflict resolution in your GitHub CLI. It might create a issue. So what i am doing so i have a file let me go to here okay i have a file test.cls so i made a changes over here and i pushed it into the repository and you can see it here the file one zero one one feature branch recently five minutes before it got committed let's click on the commits and you can see it here what are the changes i have uh, it is there you can see it here so these are the changes i made it so and now i want to create a pull request for these changes to the uat branches there are two way one is directly if you are using github desktop directly click on the create pull request it will directly open the your github and your right side will be the your branch which is selected over here current branch and left side will be your by default it will be master but we want to create a pr for pull request for uat so we'll select it here pr so this is the process to create a pull request okay so you can see it here cannot automatically merge that means there is some conflict so how to resolve this one first what we will do we will create a pull request here then we can see what are the files are coming under the conflict you can see it test.cls is a conflict file you can see it here here resolve conflict is there but do not use this one this is not my recommendation always use github desktop to resolve the conflict yes let's go to the resolving the conflict let's see what is the source and what is the destination source is feature 1011 and destination we are trying to merge it in uat so what we will do it first destination is uat right first we will try to pull all those changes which is available in uat so it will take a couple of seconds to switch to the branch let's go for the one more time page origin sometimes uh, uh, it might not clone 100 percent so better to go for one more time refresh so it will not take more than uh, five or ten seconds yes now uat branch is cloned properly in your local then next go to your feature branch source branch so here you can see it it is uh, again it's switching branch to feature 1011 so what you will do once it is done again we'll do the same thing we'll try to refetch one more time we will make sure that all those changes are available in your local okay, it will not take more than a couple of seconds so once it is done then what we'll do yes click on here one more time i'm telling you current branch click on here first your this is your source branch come to down choose a branch for merge into this one 
click on there one more time i am going click on the current branch your current branch should be, should be your destination then come down and there is an option choose a branch from uh, choose a branch to merge into this one click on here then what is your destination select the destination this is uat if uat it's a very lengthy uh, drop down then you just write here uat you, you will get the, this one then click on here then you will see that will be a conflict file when merge the uat into the this one then you have to click on the create a merge commit so once you click on here then a pop-up will come automatically so the pop-up will come and here you can see open in visual source code so i will show you how this one is come at the end or else let's go to there and let's check one more time so what we will do here the conflict is still there you, we can see it here go to the file then go to the options then you can add that you can if your visual source code is there then you can connect that visual source code into the primary i'll show you after resolving this conflict this is the option so click on here then click on this one just click on double click on this one so that a visual source code will open you can see it here one visual source code is getting open yes the file will be populated over here okay now now what you will do just give some couple of seconds so that this type of things will come so what you want to do it if the file many places there control f go for the search let shift less than then you can come to know how many places this uh, conflict is available you can get it the conflict file so i can see 12 places there is a conflict so yes visual source code giving you one good option like it will give you accept current changes accept incoming changes accept both changes and compare changes so here what you are doing you are we selected feature 1011 will merge will changes will be applied in features 1011 from source uat so here what is the accept current changes current changes means these changes are available in the your uh, feature branch and these changes are available in the uat branch you can see it right current changes and uat uat this one is coming so to make more clear you can click on the compare changes see here you can see it clearly so left side is your feature and right side is your uat code so now you can check it which code you want to keep it for example i can see this one is coming this is the commented part and this one is uh, there uh, from in uh, feature branch and this one is there in the uat branch so the as this is the comment i want to keep both things so both thing means accept both changes clear then again come to this place okay we can close it and we can again go and check here compare compare this one is result now now come to here this place yes you can see it this is available in the feature branch and this is available in your uh, uat branch so now the question is which code you want to keep it so if you want to keep it your feature branch code means the latest code which you designed right now then accept current changes if you want to keep your old code that uat code that accept incoming changes so accordingly you have to click it here accept current changes if you want to keep the your latest changes accept incoming changes if you want to keep the old changes and if you want to keep both then accept the both changes in this case i want to keep my current changes whichever i just now made it that i need to keep it so in this case i want to keep the incoming changes the code which is available in the uat i want to keep it 
similarly here i want to keep it the current changes this is the this code i added recently and this code earlier it was there i felt the code which i added right now this is the correct so i will keep the current changes yes similarly this is the, again if you want to keep your current changes then accept the current changes that changes you made it right now yes in this case i want to see this one the changes i want to keep the the changes which is available in the uat whatever the changes i made it i don't want to keep it so accept incoming changes yes now i can see there is no no conflict left so what i will do i will control s i will save this file control s then close this one then i will close this one see after couple of seconds you will see automatically it will uh, it will come this green for example if you have multiple conflict files similarly multiple files will be available over here so for each and every file double click on the open in visual source code then this type of visual source code will open and resolve it and after a couple of seconds this one will be resolved okay then go to the next conflict file like that you do it after all conflict result you will get the continue mods once you will click on the continue mods so what it will do so the all those changes are merged in the feature branch okay now what you will do is the committed is already happened then what you will do you will push the changes okay once you push the changes then those changes will be available in your okay if you will come to here earlier this was are the pr if you will see now it is allowing you to merge the pull request earlier it was showing the conflict but now it is allowing the you can see it here what are the changed file everything it will show you here okay so now what you can do it you can go and merge the pull request yes it's done merge request and the uh, conflict is resolved as well so i was uh, telling you earlier to show how to configure this one visual source code see if you will open this one let me go one more time here file options then integrations then if you will see external editor i have given the external editor a visual source code if i will give you the note plus plus notepad plus plus then by default it will come the notepad plus plus so always recommend to give visual studio code in the this one external editor first you install this one then after that automatically it will take if it will not take then you can come and you can change it here then save it so next time when you will get conflict you will get this type of that type of pop up and there you can resolve the conflict for any query on this topic please reach out to me uh, my email id is mbr.kirtan@gmail.com Thank you everyone for watching this video.